You're about to be mesmerized. Do you remember this commercial? When I was in fifth grade, this commercial was on every channel I watched and it boasts of this magic sphere that will perform amazing tricks with little to no practice. Bushigi! Bushigi, like, I don't know what it is, but it's the coolest thing ever and I can do it. As you might already know, this commercial was blatantly misleading and tricks the viewer into thinking the toy or ball is some sort of magic trick when in actuality it is an art form known as contact juggling. Contact juggling refers to the controlled rolling of one or more objects around a body. This is a discipline that people have spent months, years, and decades perfecting. But today, we're not here to talk about Fushigi and the irrepressible damage it caused, no. Today we're going to be talking about six contact jugglers who pushed the art form forward. Before I start the video, I just wanted to say I now post new content like this every week, so if you're new, be sure to subscribe. It's free. Enjoy the video. The first two on this list are as much history lessons as they are amazing jugglers. We can't have a contact juggling video without mentioning Michael Motion. Michael is an American juggler who has quite the catalog of monumental juggling acts under his belt. People often say Michael Motion invented contact juggling, but this is a bit misleading to say. Contact juggling has been around for centuries, and the idea of rolling a ball around on the body is not a new one. An example of this can be found in Chinese medicine balls. These were small therapeutic orbs that one would oscillate in the palm of their hand to relieve stress over 2,000 years ago in ancient China. However, Michael did shape everything contact juggling would become from this point forward, specifically when he came out with his act in the 80s. The magic of this act is the balls that Michael Motion used. They were clear and made of crystal and with no blemishes on the outside of the ball. This led to a couple of interesting effects. For one, when light hit the ball, it would appear to glow in an otherworldly way, which added to the magic of the act. But more importantly, the ball had a very, very unique property now. When rolled across the body, the crystal sphere would almost appear motionless, as if it were hovering. This is due to the ball being perfectly clear and non-marked. All these properties combined with Michael's exceptional control and charisma ended in quite the result, getting him featured as the magic hands of the Goblin King, David Bowie, in the movie Labyrinth a few years later, and the idea being stolen countless times to the point that it is now considered public domain. Overall, if we're talking about influential contact jugglers, I would say Michael Motion is by far the most influential contact juggler. Tony is an American juggler who is credited as one of the earliest jugglers to do multi-ball, a style of contact juggling that usually involves three or more balls and creating fluent patterns between them. Michael also did these styles of tricks, but the way Tony was doing them was completely different. Not only was his hand speed insane, but the balls he used made the tricks more difficult. For example, Michael used balls that were slippery and they could slide against each other with little to no friction. Tony, on the other hand, was using silicon bounce balls, which are incredibly grippy. This meant that if he wanted to do a three ball palm spin, each ball would need to be completely moving independently of each other. If any of the balls were to brush against each other, even for a moment, the pattern would fail. Besides the pure skill Tony displayed in his multi-ball work, he was also an early pioneer of the style, creating a large chunk of the vocabulary before anyone else. He is also hailed by some as the godfather of contact juggling in Japan, being one of the first to introduce the country to this new, evolving style. In addition to this, Tony won gold in the 1994 IJA World Championships with an impeccable display of control with one single ball. It is for reasons like this that Tony is considered one of the best. Now that we've got historical importance out of the way, 
let's talk about some modern innovations in the art form. In the circus, sometimes disciplines will cross, whether that's acrobatics and juggling, hand balancing and contortion, or in this case, hand balancing and contact juggling. In this act, Maria takes advantage of the free parts of the body to create stunning images involving both immense strength and precise fine motor skills. The use of the feet to grasp other balls allows for interesting connections, such as this forearm stand six palm spin dropping in two from the feet. Her isolations while in a one-arm handstand really shows how incredibly controlled both her handstand and her ball isolations are at the same time, as each of these skills independently require high levels of focus. Coached by Yuri, Maria is virtually undetectable online, but I would love to know more about her and her skills in the future. If you don't already know, Joseph was an incredible skilled juggler from Switzerland who did many different things, including ball juggling, boogang with bananas, and of course, contact juggling. But Joseph had one act in particular that stood out to me. In fact, the act we're talking about today is one of my favorite juggling acts of all time. It's called Two Fingers. In this act, Joseph creates a puppet show with his hand, all the while performing a stellar contact juggling act. The way the puppetry influences the physics in this act really makes it one of my favorite acts of all time, not only in concept, but in pure execution. You can tell he spent a very long time perfecting movement with his hand to make it look as alive as he does. Sadly, Joseph Fiat unexpectedly passed away last year. Though I did not know him personally, I had the pleasure of messaging him about this act, and he was incredibly kind. I think it is safe to say that Joseph Fiat made his mark, not only in contact juggling, but the greater community as a whole. Tatiana Canobas, otherwise known as Tatiana Canobals, puts the idea of contact juggling on its head with an extremely unique style of manipulation. Utilizing these giant exercise balls, Tatiana rolls and flips creating unique images never before seen. Specifically, I am incredibly dazzled by the pattern she manages with three balls, almost as if the balls are as much the juggler as she is. Remember what I said about circus acts that combine two disciplines? Canobus manages to combine foot juggling, contact juggling, rhythmic gymnastics, and acrobatics all into one powerhouse skill set. And there are few displays that even come close to this act in originality, skill, and charisma. I'd like to start off by saying, out of all the jugglers on this list, Kyle is the one I have known about the longest. I met him at one of my first juggling festivals and was totally mesmerized by the skills he had in ball juggling. I would even say he was one of my main inspirations at the time. Kyle is a highly proficient juggler with equally as much skill poured into contact juggling. Add a helping of creativity and imaginative thinking and you get Kyle Johnson. Alongside jugglers like Namar Golan and Teku, Kyle brought contact juggling together through a series of tricks only Kyle would ever do. My favorite tricks of his are basic contact rolls that have been turned into a cascade, such as this body roll and this cascade on his back, which he calls, of course, the back skate. It is for reasons like this that I always think of Kyle Johnson as the juggler who is equally as much a contact juggler as he is a technical juggler. Who else do you think has influenced contact juggling? 
please let me know in the comments down below. If you're supporting this video through Patreon, you are the reason this video exists, so if you'd like to support me, I'm very close to reaching 50 patron subs, which is a benchmark I've been trying to hit for a very long time. So if you want to support me, you can check that out in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.